Hi guys, this is Aaron from Wine Cult, and welcome back to another Bottle Breakdown. Today we're talking about the 2018 Escudo Rojo Chardonnay. Uh, but first, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Now, if you're already subscribed, you can also join our club by visiting www.joinwinecult.com. Uh, I really encourage you to check it out. We have a rotating selection of wines every month, uh, just like the Escudo Rojo that we're featuring today. Uh, but if you'd like to be a part of it, uh, you can find the link to join the club in the video description below. So this is 100% Chardonnay from uh, Val de Casablanca, which is nearing the Pacific coast of Chile, about 80 kilometers northwest of Santiago. Uh, the ocean influence is uh, very, very strong here, uh, helping to regulate the temperature. So it's ideal country for white wine grape varieties, especially Chardonnay. This domain is in fact still owned and operated by the founding family uh, of Baron Philippe de Rothschild. Uh, now a family with so much global reach can really produce anywhere, uh, but they've chosen Chile because it offered proximity to the Pacific Ocean. Uh, now, Escudo Rojo is the Spanish translation of the German Rotschild, uh, referring to the family name, of course, uh, and emblem of their red shield. Uh, the grapes themselves are hand-picked in order to preserve all their freshness and aromatic potential. Uh, every stage of vinification is also uh, processed and carried out at low temperature in order to uh, do the same, to preserve aromatic potential and freshness of the fruit. Uh, half this vintage matured in one-year-old oak barrels for about nine months to achieve a nice balance between oaky notes and freshness of the fruit. Uh, about a quarter, 25%. Uh, went into new oak and 75% in uh, one to two year old barrels. Uh, tropical fruit and yellow peach aromas. Uh, they're really followed by airy notes of gingerbread or toasted brioche. Uh, the palate is really pleasantly full for Chardonnay. Um, you know, they, it really reveals a certain intensity as well of tropical fruit like pineapple and passion fruit. Um, the, the mid palate is, is round, dense, very nice. Um, also again, with a, a range of tropical fruit flavors, uh, as well as some notes of toasted almond and even some mild spices like cumin or cinnamon. Um, it's got a beautiful finish, very elegant, uh, again, with some light touches of hazelnut, uh, and a little bit of a resurgence of the pineapple. For more bottle breakdowns and other great wine content, don't forget to subscribe. I'm Aaron from Wine Cult, and I'll see you next time.